Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about mapping with struct. So let's say I want to map struct data type using a mapping. So let's say I want to map roll number of students with a lot of student details. Like in the previous video, we were just storing the name of the student, right? So for every roll number, there was a name associated with it, right? But let's say I want to store the details of a student. Let's say the name, roll number and pass means pass means as whether he's pass or not. Now, in this case, you can clearly see that I need to use a mapping. So in this video, we are going to see how we can map. OK, how we can map from UINT or any other data type to a struct data type. So let's say I have created this mapping. So when we will do this, something like this will happen in memory. I'm just taking some random value here, 0, 12 and 100 because mapping does not store data in a contiguous fashion. So 0, 12 and 100. And at 0, 12 and 100, I want to store details of students. So this is how it will look like. So you can clearly see that at 0th index of this mapping, I'm storing the details of this student. At 12th index of this mapping, I'm storing the details of this student and so on. So here I can store the value means the details of Raj. Here I can store the details of Max. And here I can store the details of Rina, right? So in this way, I can do that. So this is how we actually, as I said, map from uint or definitely you can have any other data type as well to student means that which is actually a struct data type now let us see this on our remix id so now let us create one struct let's say this is student and then we will have the name right the roll number as well as whether he is pass or fail okay now i will create a mapping for this okay so uint then to student and let me make this public and then data to insert it i have to simply make a function insert in this i have to pass the index value so uint index so just like your array right if you remember but again arrays and mapping are two different things right we have seen that in the previous video so string memory name then uint roll number and then we will have bull then pass Okay, then we will have public and then we can simply use our data variable and insert, sorry, not insert actually index. And in this, we will use our student data type for that. We will have name, roll number, as well as the passing value. Okay, now again, if you want to return something, so return value function. And in this again, we will have the index value. Okay, let me make it index. Then again, public view returns. And in this, now we will have the value. So the value, if you if you will see, this is the whole structure, right? So if you want to hold, return the whole structure, you will have student memory, right? Memory. And then you will return data index. So this is how you can return a value. And this is how you can insert a value in this mapping of structs. Basically, when you are using struct in mapping. So now if you want to insert something you can clearly have your index value let's say nine at nine i want to store the data of raj and roll number is let's say one and let's say and definitely you can also you know i have used in a different index you can also use this roll number as your index so that's up to you okay so you instead of having a different index number and a different roll number you can choose the same thing as a roll number as well as the like the same variable in on both the places right you can do that as well and let's say he's fail okay and transact and if you want to see this just go and write nine and click on this definitely i have called this very variable so raj rule number one and true in the same way if you will do the same with your function it will return the values right so this is how you can use mapping with struct and this is a very important data type because this data type you are going to see a lot of time whenever you are going to create solidity projects in our solidity project as well we are going to use this type of data structure okay so understand this data structure very well because we are going to use this a lot in our solidity project so i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel to meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay